Alright, I get a lot of questions galing sa inyo guys. Medyo paminsan sensitive because Slater, magkano yung pool nyo? Can you give us exact dimensions? Pero since mahal ko kayo, ito na. This is it. I'll talk about the cost of our pools, the dimensions, the depth, gano kalalim ang pinili namin at bakit yun yung pinili namin. And yung mga safety aspects, hindi ba dangerous for Scotty? And magkano ba talaga to maintain a pool every month? Siyempre, may ginagastosan tayong tubig, chlorine, other things to maintain the pool as well as adding water in the pool. And ang dami din mga misconceptions like, bakit hindi mo nilalagyan ng muriatic acid yung pool nyo? Di ba panlinis yun? Mali po yan, guys. So, today, we are going to answer all of that. And we're gonna do it right now. Okay, first up, how big is our pool and how much did we spend to build it? From that end to this end, <laughs> is 21 meters and yung thickness ng pool or yung width ng pool ay 2.8 meters. And there's a story behind why we chose to make it 21 meters. Actually, yung original hangga dito lang yung pool namin para may malaki kaming garden. Kaso, na-injured yung neck ko. The doctor advised me to take up swimming para less impact na sport siya. So, ito yung ginawa namin. We made it 21 meters because we actually talked to our swimmer architect. One of the LLG partners used to be a champion swimmer. So tinanong ko, ano ba ang minimum length na kailangan para makapaglaping ako na hindi ako nahihilo na pa back and forth, pa back and forth. Sabi niya, it should be at least 20 meters. Oh, so dinagdagan lang namin ng konti, naging 21. And that was one of the best decisions because it makes our pool much more usable. So for those asking, ano ba talaga ang minimum? I would say 20 meters if you want to lap. If you want to have a dip lang, 10 or 12 meters will be just fine. But if you want it extra safe, make sure it's just around four to four and a half feet. Dito sa amin, four on that end, umabot kami sa five feet on the other end. Pero I wish I would have just kept it four to four and a half all the way through kasi paminsan yung asawa ko nahihirapan siya to walk with Scotty na raising her up on the deeper end of the pool. Sorry love, yung height ni Chris. <laughs> How much did we spend for it? Around 2 million pesos for everything. Now you could get by with a little bit cheaper na pool kasi ito may tiles talaga so it's a little bit expensive. And kung nakita niyo yung steps dito from that area to those at the back, yun yung one of the most mahal factors of our pool kasi isat isang step yung ginawa namin. So yung tiles have to wrap around, going back and forth. It was very, very tedious to do. But I feel like worth it naman, medyo maganda naman yung feel niya. But this could have been cheaper if it were a different design. So for those of you asking, kung mga kalahati lang yung mga plunge pool or dipping pool lang, it's around mga 1 to 1.5 million. So that's it. That's how much we spent for our pool. Pero hindi yun yung pinaka importante. Eh. Yung pagmaintain ng pool ang pinaka mahirap, which we'll talk about right now. Okay, this is where we lose a lot of people when it comes to having a pool in their home. Kasi mahirap daw i maintain. Actually, it's fairly simple. You just have to know about it. And it involves the three C's of pool maintenance. The first C is simple and you don't really have to do anything about aside from cleaning out the filter. It's the cycling of the water which is regulated by your pool pump and your pool filter. So all you have to do is make sure the pool filter is clean properly and that depends on the type of filter you have and that comes with talking with your supplier now. The second one is simply cleaning the pool. So lilinisin natin from mga leaves, mga bugs that are floating, yung mga, mga walls, kailangan ibabrush natin. And this is where this baby shark yung tawag namin, it's a robotic pool cleaner, has helped us a lot. More on this in a bit. That's the second one, cleaning. And lastly, we have chemistry where a lot of people go wrong because they feel like, oh, we just add a certain amount of chlorine and muriatic acid in the pool regularly and okay na. Ang dami nga nagtatanong sa akin na how much daw ang lalagay na chlorine for their pool. Number one, I wouldn't know because not my pool. Ang daming mga aspects such as 
the amount of sun that hits the pool, so nawawala yung chlorine, the amount of rain, so nawash away yung tubig and nauubos yung chlorine, and lastly, the size of your pool. What I know for sure is you have to keep your chlorine levels at a two to four parts per million. Don't get lost yet because that's why we have these kinds of kits. Ito, masyadong overkill. It's measuring a lot more than just chlorine and the pH balance of your pool. Pero this is just for me geeking out. There's simpler tests such as this one and this one. I'll put all the links down below. But essentially, we test our pool every week. Tinuruan namin si Harold, yung kasambahay namin, to learn how to use these test kits. And then, siya na ang bahala. And all we do when kulang kami sa chlorine is add these tablets to the pool itself. So, sobrang simple, sobrang easy. And for the muriatic acid side, this is not to clean the pool, but this is to manage the pH levels. Alam niyo yung pool na paminsan, pag naliligo kayo, sobrang sakit sa mata and sobrang uncomfortable after getting out of the pool. It's most likely because na sobrahan sa chlorine or hindi sakto yung pH level. So, itong mga test kits na to, meron din to siyang mga pH na levels. The ideal is 7.6 to 7.4. So, that is what you should be using. And this is it. That's what goes on when it comes to cleaning our pool. But how much do these things, as well as adding water, the electricity for the pump and the filter, etc., cost us every month? Well, hindi ko pa na total actually, but I've measured each and every one of the aspects already. Firstly, we have our pool pump at the back, which is running eight hours a day, and that costs us about 1,500 pesos per month. Second, we have these pool tablets. This is about 100 pesos per tablet. I'll put links down below and we use about six or seven of this per month. So that's the second expense. Thirdly, we have Baby Shark. We actually bought Baby Shark during the pandemic because we used to have someone from the outside come here about twice weekly and we paid him 3,500 to clean our pool for us na wala na kaming iniisip. Nagbabrush ng entire walls namin, pati yung pagkuha ng mga leaves, siya nang bahala. But, napansin ko that this is a lot more sulit. This is about 40 to 50,000 in Lazada, and it does 90% of the cleaning for us. Meron siyang mga bristles dito, and meron din to siyang vacuum, and then you can take out these portions, and meron tong filter sa loob, so mga leaves, mga hair, mga dust, mga sand, buhangin, will get filtered out, and it cleans our pool absolutely well, because we run it every single day. And the best part about this is it can clean yung mga walls mismo namin. But I say it helps us with 90% because kailangan pa rin namin magnet ng mga surface in case na may mga bugs or mga leaves tinatanggal pa rin namin by hand. Pero si Harold na ang bahala dun. So that is how we do the cleaning part of our pool right now. And sobrang sulit because it doesn't consume a lot of electricity. So very, 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 very happy with this purchase. So again, we spent na on the electric bill, 1.5, the chlorine about 700, so that's 2,200. Meron pa tayong mga tubig na we add up. Meron kasi mga tumatawag sa akin na Slater, but bumababa pa rin yung water level ng pool namin. May leak ba to? Hindi po. nag evaporate lang yung pool nyo if it's just around 1 to 2 inches na bumababa on a hot sunny day. So yun yung parang normal. If sobrang lakas ng pagbaba, maybe you have a leak and medyo masakit yan sa ulo. <laughs> but another topic for another day. But again, maybe 200 pesos uh, water. So that's 2,400. And the muriatic acid we rarely, rarely use. I would say, sige, sabihin na natin 100 pesos per month. So that's 2,500 pesos per month on all these items. If we had our pool cleaner guy, plus 3,500 pa, so that's 6,000 pesos per month. We used to spend, ngayon, nasa 2,500 na lang kami. And that's because of this one. So, sulit na sulit talaga to. So, the last few things I want to talk about is the design aspect of the pool. Number one, nagagamit ba talaga namin? Second, is it safe? And number three, why did you put a pool in the middle of your home? Like this one. 
Well, that all boils down to my personal opinion when it comes to safety. And yung mga stories na naririnig ko na hindi nagagamit namin yung pool namin. Because napansin ko, in a lot of cases, yung pool is out of the way. Mahirap to get there, maybe it's in the basement or the lower ground floor area, or maybe it's in the dulo ng bahay, so it's a little bit inconvenient. And this is actually the reason why we tend to use our pool a whole lot more. Every day, dumadaan kami dun sa hallway, nakikita namin yung pool, which contributes to the vibe of the pool. Pero, like, look at my wife right now. Dadaan na yun. Dadaan na yun sa pool. Sa hallway ng pool. <laughs> Pero, it really gives a nice vibe. And it makes the water so inviting na palagi kaming love. Ligo tayo, love, swimming tayo every time it's hot. And that's the design portion of why we wanted the pool to be there. So that, number one, we use it more often. Second is, if we don't use it, nagko-contribute pa rin siya ng ambience sa bahay namin. Second, when it comes to safety, I feel like the pool being in the middle of our house is a lot safer because nakikita palagi ng tao kung sino ang nasa pool. If Scotty were to roam around and hindi namin mahanap, it would be very, very easy to spot him. Well, at least ito yung nasa isip ko when placing it here. Na always very, very visible whoever is using the pool. So that's it guys. This is the logic behind us having a pool in the middle of our home. And to be perfectly honest, we've been enjoying it a lot. Helps us bond with the families, kami ni Scotty and my wife, as well as yung mga nephews and nieces namin have a reason to visit our pool. Again, if you have kids pala, make sure you have an area. Meron kaming area dun sa likod na medyo two feet deep lang para sa mga kids, they can be comfortable when they're playing around the pool. And ito, I'm very, very happy with it. It's really not that hard to maintain, but you do have to spend a little bit. Anyway, guys, this has been one of my most requested videos from you guys. But if you want more content from me, subscribe down below, comment what content you want to learn more, and I'll see you later.